Welcome to my regular look at WTI crude oil price action and where it may be heading next. Now there's talk of OPEC cuts that might push the price back on up but it's fighting a strong bear trend at the moment. So where is that price heading next? I'm going to take a look at some sentiment, fundamentals and the charts to try and work out the picture. So with that let's get on with the analysis. So first of all into some fundamentals, Baker Hughes rig count uses as a barometer for the energy sector as a whole and I like to use the US line and for the second time in a row you can see their change from prior count is negative so showing still a weakening from the very strong bullish position it's been for such a while and you can see change from last year plus 263 so you know still strong but just slightly weaker over the last month or so. Now don't forget US crude oil inventories are delayed a day reporting out Thursday at 4 o'clock UK time because of the US Labour Bank holiday this Monday. Now what's the takeaway uh, from the inventories numbers? Well you can see the last three instances have all been better than expected and forecast. Whether that's going to occur this week who knows but actual minus 3.326 million barrels last week so like I said forecast and actual will be delayed postponed back a day because of that bank holiday so for those using the inventories watch this space so into the chart sentiment tools I look at and focusing on the bottom there seasonality you can see on the left uh, sorry the right hand side the sort of more weak um, position seasonality but note how that you know ramps on up through the rest of the year into next year and most importantly from this sentiment page I like the COT data now the large commercials they should move inversely with the uh, price and the large speculators should move in conjunction with the price which they're doing and that just confirms the signal to me that you know with that price coming off them coming off that going up that it's still bearish there and that's the opinion of you know the professional users of this market so they're normally right so it's a good guide to follow so heading into the mainstream technical analysis what have we got here well the weekly line chart you can see two standard deviation uh, bands they're showing this trend up in the channel and the occasional breakout before returning in but at the moment we've got a more serious break on our hands as it heads down into my yellow sort of support area which focuses in between say 70 to 80 dollars so anticipating the price if it does keep coming off you know slowing down into this zone and that trend line there might be a buffer which is in the you know early-ish $70 range and if it returns back to there expect it to come back into this zone down here a lot of volume trading around the sort of $60 mark so again that can act as support which is at that sort of 38.2 percent Fibonacci line which is in the mid $50 but the trend has been strong as you can see you know that nice pull off we're in at the moment so what about short term signal entry well got the four line break chart here very good for that and it's a bullish setup at the moment some numbers for you to think about 89 90 dollars if you are bullish wanting to get in there and on to the daily hike and ashi chart uh, signals all very weak at the moment you can see the dmis at the bottom short and long term both negative so I wouldn't be bullish at the moment volatility pretty flat around the early 40s and volume sort of just trading on downwards and onto the price action no signal at the moment in our two line pink box breakout neutral there drawn on some trend lines for you to follow as well we can see that good break zone here as it trended on down that triangle pattern creating this softer trend line here which could be important as a breakup area to the upside and also 
notice we've got a lot of noise around this sort of mid 80s area which is where it parked down here so could be strong support before thinking about going on down further and what about on the Renko charts one dollar block size used good for the short term trading action it's the same sort of story very negative at the moment and if we focus in on the signals at the bottom DMI the longer term trend down stochastics also down and uh, regression also down and target wise well first of all just have a look at some support area which here was around the sort of the 90 early 90s zone and we got then this block of action below that as it hovers around this Fibonacci line thinking about going south and if it does go further south we got sort of early 80s mid 70s and then early 60s if it can put in support here and bounce on up it's got to get through this 95 area where there's like say this block of noise and then further up into the early hundreds you know 107 110 and then into 120 but it's going against this nice downtrend that we've seen since sort of late June and looks at the moment like it's set to continue but watch out for the fundamental news like OPEC um, production cuts that could spike the price back up but just based on the technicals at the moment looking pretty weak so let's put a score on uh, WTI crude oil I'm going weak bearish again as per last time although it is moving more towards a stronger bearish uh, technical analysis setup as you can see a high Kanashi Renko and the other factors we look at pretty similar but actually the odds if we focus in on the targets have improved to both the upside and the downside because of this consolidation phase we're going through so the upside 4.88 and 3.44 to 1 reasonably tight stop in there considering the volatility of WTI and then downsides 1.83 and 3.88 to 1 so interesting targets both ways but at the moment I'm sticking with my weak bearish score so crude oil WTI interestingly placed at the moment on the technicals it's all looking very weak in the shorter to medium term but there's rumblings on the fundamentals or well, you know OPEC maybe you know with their production cuts getting that price you know jumping back up again one to definitely watch out there but like I say the sentiment and the fundamentals we looked at it's a weakening picture at the moment so like I said interestingly placed and some good movement possibilities to the upside and the downside so time your way in using the technical analysis let me know in those comments below where you think oil is heading next love to hear from you there and if you like today's video please give us a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and i'll see you in the next video